on my social stream that today is World Cancer Day. And as someone who um, had a cancer diagnosis in December, I thought I'd share a, a few thoughts. Um, a quick update for those of you who've been following my progress, because I know you'll kind of want to know. People, I know when people are starting to wonder, because I start to get a few more messages. Mainly people are being very respectful of my privacy, which I appreciate. And then I suddenly get a few more messages and I'm thinking, OK, I'll do a little update. Um, so I had my, um, I, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in December, 19th of December. A day I won't forget. Um, and I screamed and cried all night. Uh, pancreatic cancer has really low survival rates and so for the fortnight following that all over Christmas um, and until we had the uh, until we had the call from the uh, MDT the multidisciplinary team I truly thought that it would be be my last and um, so that that was that fortnight um, and so I'm lucky enough that I've had uh, had an operation and um, I've had a Whipple, which is as invasive as heart surgery. It's probably one of the most complex operations performed. Um, I was going to say in the UK, but it's just one of the most complex operations performed. Essentially, what they've done is to um, remove the majority of my pancreas, the lower part of my stomach, my duodenum, um, the top part of my intestines, uh, and and then they've put it all back together in a slightly different order. So everything's kind of come out of my abdomen and gone back into my abdomen. Um, it's quite something. Um, and and I'm one of the lucky ones because it was operable. Pancreatic cancer on World Cancer Day is the one I want to draw attention to. Firstly, because, of course, um, I, I am a, a patient of pancreatic cancer. Um, also because it's one of the hardest to diagnose. It's one of the deadliest um, and the life expectancy for people diagnosed has not increased um, that much at all in the last 40 years, but the incidence of pancreatic cancer is increasing. It needs lots of care and attention and research. Um, I will be starting chemotherapy in uh, on the 27th of February, which is about a month ahead of schedule, because um, I am healing well, so that uh, it was scheduled for the end of March. It's now the end of February. Um, which I did burst into tears when the oncologist told me we'd be doing it at the end of February because I think I had in my head that I'd had, have a couple of weeks where I felt all right and I'd be able to do stuff with the family and that sort of stuff and that feels like that's kind of been taken away from me. But I do know that the sooner I start, the sooner I'll, I'll finish um, the course of chemotherapy. So chemotherapy will run for five months. Um, chemotherapy, the NICE guidelines have just changed, so I'm on a stronger regimen than, um, than has previously been given for, for my condition. Um, it's called Philofimrinox, for anyone who wants to look it up. Um, I'll be doing five months uh, of a, an infusion over two days, every two weeks. And um, I've booked a hair appointment. I'm going to be chopping my hair off even shorter. I do. I normally wear it asymmetrical, have it long on this side, and normally all curly here, um, in order to adjust to um, losing my hair, which I almost certainly will. I'm going to have it cut shorter again. Um, I thought I'd get my daughter used to seeing me with um, with less hair before I lose all of it. And I've been looking at um, I've been looking at kind of chemotherapy things that are nice for people to have. And so if you know someone who's um, going to be going through chemotherapy, some things that you might want to get them um, are soft cotton gloves. Um, you can get uh, neuropathy is very common with chemotherapy. And you can get neuropathy gloves. They're like arthritis gloves, and they hold your um, feet and your, you can get socks and gloves and they hold the hands tight and that can really help with neuropathy. It uh, might be something that you'd want to get someone. Um, also um, a soft toothbrush, those are the sort of so soft toothbrush. Um, I've had lots of recommendations for um, a cream called Udderly with urea which I've, I've looked up, It was which was designed for cows um, in milk to help with their udders, funnily enough. Um, and so uh, Udderly is the is the brand of choice for, for people um, having chemotherapy, uh, particularly for sore hands and feet. Um, so there are a few things like that. Also, um, anti-nausea. Um, there's a there's a, um, a, an American brand, and I'm I'm struggling to remember the name. It's something drops, nausea drops, something like that, um, that help people with nausea. So um, that's what's going on with me. I shall be starting chemotherapy on the 27th of February, going through to the end of July, if I can manage just to sustain that long. The main struggle I'm having is keeping weight on, um, which is due to the new digestive system, getting used to eating. I'm a little bit scared of food. 
because it all behaves very strangely and, um, and it's not pleasant. Uh, so um, I've lost two stone nearly. Um, so my main issue is getting some weight on. I've been eating lots of butter and cream and protein. The body needs protein to mend. Um, and then the other thing that I'm waiting for in order to start chemotherapy is that I have a um, I have an open wound on one side. They had to open up my wound to release a build-up of fluids. Um, so that's being packed every other day. Um, so I know lots of people have seen my previous video and thought, oh, you know, she's looking really upbeat, doing really well. And I am. I absolutely am. But it is a struggle. Um, and, you know, so I'm going in and having an open wound packed every other day. Um, I'm struggling to eat most days. I am sleeping. Um, last couple of days I've been sleeping. Um, I had a, a, an incident in theatre that meant that I lost sensation down my hand. Um, so I'm having um, kind of quite painful things going on with my hand. Um, and so, World Cancer Day, what do I want to say? I wanted to give you an, a kind of um, glimpse into the life of somebody who is a cancer patient. I am also absolutely planning um, for being well. So although pancreatic has a high incidence of recurrence, and that's my greatest fear, obviously, so um, the moment a secondary appears, I would be considered palliative. Uh, so, you know, the, it, that's what we're obviously wanting to avoid. Um, but I'm absolutely planning on being well, so I'm making plans. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm thinking I will be kind of tentatively doing a, a little bit of work, probably writing work and online stuff, maybe from September this year. Um, I'm very much hoping to be um, back working in 2021 um, because it's important, isn't it? Because the whole point of all of this treatment is for me to live the life I want to live, um, and so I'm absolutely making plans for that. Um, so a little glimpse into the um, a day in the life of somebody who's recently been diagnosed with cancer. It's very weird. It's very weird. And there's only so much daytime TV I can take. I was saying I had a call with my work team today because um, you wouldn't tell an artist not to pick up a brush and you wouldn't tell a musician not to pick up their instrument whilst they were ill. And for me, that's my work. And so I am determined to do a little bit of work. And I had a catch up call with the guys today and I genuinely enjoyed it it was tiring um, and I certainly couldn't do more than a couple of hours each day and I have slept um, and I had a two hour sleep before that call and I had a sleep after that call um, but uh, you know that is um, life enhancing for me because it's what I'm good at it's what I do it's what I love um, and so I will be working with the team to get the book launched um, a massive thank you again for those who've um, donated money to my crowdfunding campaign. I've put together a crowdfunding campaign to um, cover some of the business costs to keep the business ticking over. Hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping that when I come back to it in September, I won't have to rebuild everything from nothing. Um, I'm hoping that the time in, uh, when I'm out of the business doesn't accrue a massive debt in the business. Um, and the team are working you know, really, really hard to keep the business going. So um, they're very much open for business. There is a fantastic team and a network of consultants who can help you with your marketing. So if you are looking for um, someone to support your marketing, then do get in touch with the team because um, that would support me more than anything. It would be to support the business. Um, so thank you to those who've given to the crowdfunding campaign. Um, Tom and I, my husband and I, are doing a two-day course with Penny Braun next week. It's a two-day, uh, it's called the... Um, it's mainly on resilience they do this whole person program the bristol whole person program my brain's a bit foggy so i'm probably getting the words wrong um but it's a two-day thing for both of us um with penny braun in bristol we're very lucky that they're based in bristol people come from all across the country to do it and it's a two days where we um learn about uh, all sorts of things from mindfulness to communication between the two of us to understanding how chemotherapy works for diet all, all those sorts of things so we're doing a two-day course um, next week which I'm really looking forward to um, and uh, they're one of the organisations that some of the crowdfunding funding money will go towards and I'm really um, humbled, delighted, overwhelmed by the support you've all given. Um, so that's my update, um, it is World Cancer Day today so if you um, beyond me know anybody else um, who has been a patient or is currently a patient then what can you do? Well you can um, donate to the, the cancer charities have a look at um, the specific cancer that they um, that they're that they're suffering. Some of the smaller charities have much more focused research programs. Um, you can obviously drop them a line and let them know you're thinking of them. Ask what help they might need, um, and just be there really for them. I know lots of people find it difficult to know what to say, 
um, and I can completely understand that. Um, but for those people who I have had visits with, the, 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 the point is just to, to have a normal conversation, really. Um, so that's me. That's what's going on with me. Uh, lots of love to everybody. Um, so uh, do what you can to raise awareness, get involved, raise money. Um, and if you um, if if you haven't given to the my crowdfunding um, campaign and, and you wish to, uh, that would be gratefully received as well. It's all still open. Lots of love from me. Bye.